Naomi said, when she returned, the city was moved when they heard that Naomi is returning. But imagine a man who left home and spent 10 years in abroad. In the real sense, she's supposed to look better. Am I correct? But after 10 years, when she came back, because he left Bethlehem because of hunger, the Bible told us there was hunger at that time in Bethlehem. Because Naomi and the family, they were from Bethlehem. And there was hunger. And Bethlehem means land of bread. But at that time, there was scarcity. So they went to sojourn in the land of Moab. But after a while, after a long time, let me use that word, she decided to return home. And she returned with her daughter-in-law who accompanied her. Now remember, they left home four, pe four persons from the family. She herself, her husband, and her two sons. But when she returned, she returned with just a daughter. And the people we asked her confused. When they saw her, number one, she was not looking like a woman who has money before she left. And number two, the normally we left, no, they were a family of four, husband and wife with two children. But the one we are seeing now is husband, only a woman with a daughter. And the normally we know doesn't have a daughter. So they were moved. They were happy to receive her. At the same time, they were asking, is this Naomi? And Naomi said, don't call me Naomi. Call me Mara. Naomi means sweetness. And Mara means bitterness. He said, no, there's no sweetness in my life. Every sweet thing has left. I pray for you. May the enemy never find no sweetness in your life. Those things God has put in your life to make you sweet, to make you sweet, to, 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 that has added flavor to your life and destiny. May your enemies never collect it. He said, Don't call, Pastor, sit down. He said, Don't call me. No, me. Your name will not change you. Please, if you're with me, put amen very loud. Problem of life will not change your name. Situations you met in marriage will not change your name. Battle you are going through will not change your name. Will not change your real identity. Have you seen some people at times, you know, that we are looking very handsome, very beautiful, but at the time, you pass them. You won't even know they are the one. Recently, somebody was telling me, I saw something. He said, but I couldn't recognize him. Why? Condition. I want to know Condition, as they used to say, make crawfish bread. Now listen, even when God bless you, one of the prayers you pray is that may my, let my yesterday never be better than my tomorrow. Naomi and the wife, we are well blessed. I mean, and the husband, they were well blessed. Just like as Nigeria be now. It takes to get money now to begin look to, uh, a foreign country where you want to go and stay where things are looking well. Am I correct? 
Just imagine it, the way things are now. He takes someone who has enough money to take the family out of this place. And that was no, the husband of Naomi. She, he, the man was well doing. And because he had two sons, he believed that I can't stay here for my family to die of hunger. Let's go move out. And they moved out to a place where in head there was bread. But there was bread there, but there was no security. There was bread there, but the presence of God was not there. And that's why any journey you want to embark, confirm from God. Don't just move by what men say. Confirm if God wants you to be there. This morning I am declaring you will not return empty. From today, the yoke of emptiness has been broken in the name of Jesus. He said, he said, he said, I, I, I left home full. That was verse 20. But I returned empty. But look at that verse 21. The first statement in verse 21 of that Ruth chapter 1. He said, I went out, what? Full. And the Lord has brought me home again. Do you know what it means? She lost her glory. She lost her happiness. She lost every good thing in, your, in her life. You, under the sound of my voice, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will not lose your glory. Please, if you are saying that, amen, let it be strong. You will not lose what makes you a woman. You will not lose that in the earth level to as a man. And the Bible said, they said, it looked like Naomi. But the Naomi we know is a beautiful woman. But this woman looked like a one suffering, but they look alike. Naomi says, No more Naomi. Name, condition have changed name. May condition never change your name. The situation of life never change your name. Now listen, these three Sundays, if there is anything the enemy have removed, I see God returning it back to you. I left home. Now, another word for emptiness is spirit of nothing. That is another way to describe emptiness. It's a spirit of what? Nothing. In the book of Luke chapter 5 verse 5, Jesus met Peter on the, on the sea that wonderful morning. And Simon Peter answered, and Simon answered him and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and we have taken nothing. And I stand on this altar. There are many of us, spirit of nothing have been following us. Spirits of emptiness. No matter how we walk, no matter where we labor, now so so nothing, nothing. If you talk that enemy, we bury that power. Whether it's an altar fighting you, that no matter how you trade, no matter how you walk, nothing will stay in your hand. In the name of Jesus, as you talk that enemy, that I command that power go down. Some people, they, they, are, they are government workers, but before the money comes, they have already finished it. They will buy credit, keep that. The moment salary comes, they will go and settle. Spirit of emptiness, spirit of nothing. Somebody shall you spirit of emptiness. You demon of nothing. Get out of my life. Year to year, January to December, nothing they stay in your hand. You know they gather, you know get service, you know get nothing day. Now from hand to mouth, shout in every spirit of nothing, every demon of empty pocket, fighting me. Somebody shall die. Clap your hand, go in the spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. What I'm saying is not, this one, does it make sense? Not every day, nothing. Not that you wish to see yourself, but this is a condition you find yourself. 
what you are your income cannot even cover your expenses it's always nothing nothing from hand to mouth walk like jackie eat like a rat somebody shall fire seven times Listen, in some family, I discover it's not just one man problem. It's a family problem. It's a pattern. Shouting every pattern of failure. Fighting me. Die. Clap your hand. Pattern of failure in one of family. Fighting my effort. Jesus name we pray. One of the days, a, a woman called me from a foreign country, I forgot the country, a distant member. She happened to be a medical doctor, a head doctor in the, one of the general hospitals in that country. But he said something. He said, I notice I have gotten to a particular level in my life, I can't move above that. He said, I want to really see. I want to cross this. It's like, he said, I have made effort. I see that I am just in one spot. When she was talking, I said, with your position, I, I, that's to say that woman, she's a spiritual woman. Stretch your hand. Listen, even if you are growing in business, you must know whether where you are now, where you did 10 years ago, or you have grown above there. Because another spirit of emptiness is that they, they never allow you to grow above others. Did you hear what I said? That you're just, your just your breakthrough or your success is never different from the one of others. They are just in the key. Straight your right hand. I join faith with you. I don't know where you are watching me. Whatever power that have begged you in a particular spot, and vow and say you cannot cross here. In the name of Jesus, as you turn that amen trigger, we break that pen. Listen, everybody stand. I know you are still standing. Open that your hand. Let's agree. One of the days I was praying, God told me, do you know some people are doing well, but where they are is not where they're supposed to be. He said there is a limit. Somebody say limit. Yeah. You know, some of you who do use your mobile to do transfer, you know you have limit. Even though you have money in that account, the moment you hit your limit, you can no longer access your account. Am I correct? Why? Because there is a limit. And I stand on this altar, whatever limit the enemy plays spiritually. Somebody pray one second shall break. Every limit place in your success, in your finance, in your effort, in your career, in your knowledge, in your wisdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Now let me explain that limit so that you understand it. There are some people, if they begin to gather money, they save. From 1,000 to 10,000, it will go. 10,000 to 20, no problem. 30,000, they go, they gather up. They, they add to it. But the moment you hit 100,000, you, even, you'll be thinking that you'll cross it. Before you know, another thing will come that for you to reduce it. One problem from nowhere will come. You won't even remember, just hey, bring 30,000, I get money there. Yes. That limit and you start saving again. The moment you hit that hundred thousand, another problem will come because the enemy pegged it and said, This is your limit. Shout it, I break that limit. In the name of Jesus, come back at them and three times. Sit down. I said, One of the another name for the spirit of emptiness is what? Nothing. There are people in their life, anytime we ask them for money, say nothing. That is always the answer. And there are family, there are, there are family of nothing. They have men, plenty men. They are made much more in number, but their pocket is always empty. No one can help each other if you have a problem. When you say your family is blessed, that if you have a problem, you have a brother who you can just call. Go, it's okay, wait, wait, I'm coming. Before you know money don't land. That, yes, that's when you say, my family, we are blessed. When the situation you have a problem of 400, 500, uh, hey, you go say 500, 57. You call your brother, you go say, even my house rent, I never pay. Now 30,000, I make landlord, they disturb me. Then you go cut call. 
No, say so his own is even more emergency than your own. Come and do what only you can do in my life, oh Lord. Is an emergency. There are some people here today. I am on assignment and I want you to hear me well. I don't care to know what, have, what is following you to reduce you. But in this service, God is restoring you. I see restoration. I see restoration. In John 21, verse number 5, the same Peter went to fishing. After the whole night, Jesus met him. John 21, verse 5. And Jesus, okay, you have been walking since yesterday. Give me some meat. Then said Jesus unto them, children, have you any meat? What were the answer? Nothing. Nothing. We just the walk. And there are many people like that. Monday to Saturday, they open their workshop. Monday to Saturday, they open their shop. But nothing. If they manage not just to eat, that is all. At times, say what they eat is under credit because man must survive. Those days I used to do business. There was a woman I gave credit. When a little time when God began to help me, because my late brother was the one helping her. So when my late brother died, she cried past me when my brother died. Did you, did you understand it? Now the person who died that time was my brother, senior brother. But she cried past me. She wanted to kill herself. And it's a Christian sister, and I call her and say, Why? He said, You know, no, that, that your brother, now he might help out. So now, wait, that is dead in a village. I said, Don't worry, you won't go village. That was how I have to, out of little I have, I gave her credit. The first one she paid, second one she paid, third time, I gave her something a little bit bigger than what I gave her. The thing who could. Even my late brother that he was crying for, he was only that one. We are not talking of the death now. We are trying to rescue her. I went to a house, I think we built the gospel opposite that road where it is. For my ideas. I went to see her. I said, where my money now? He said, Pastor, I will not lie for you. He said, I sell like I never said before. This goods you gave me help me. I said, eh? if you sold it, why are you owing me? He said, but that be what I said, finish as I come back in the night. You eat, finish. Say, my small daughter, body change. He said, he said, the truth, I want to tell you nothing but the truth. I'm a child of God. I said, tell me the truth to make a year. He said, I cannot leave that money in this house and allow my own daughter to die. Uh, I said, hallelujah. He said, I took money there. I rushed her to hospital. And the good thing now is that she done well, but the money finished. I say, praise the Lord. Because what is following her is that demon that does not want her to find help. There are many of us, anywhere we want to get help, some people block her. Somebody has a fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk to me. I, 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 she told, even at the time she was crying, she said, I never planned it like this. Say, for you to even help me, I was happy. And I told myself I will not disappoint you, but look at it. I look at I stood there, I told her, I said, you don't deserve help. I said, you don't deserve my own help. May God give you help. I said, what do I mean? I said, I won't give you again. He said, may God give me. I said, you know how much I get? For me to squeeze from what I have, give you just to help you because you are a mother with children. Even at that time, I have to carry the senior son. I have to carry the senior son because the condition wasn't okay. Power that forbid you to find help. Now, listen, I remember something now. Do you know at the process of that time, the husband had to leave, go home. He said they get palm fruit for village. And they said that year, say, oh yeah, they move well. And the, the man he told the mother who is in the village, the mama said, You are the first one come now. I think this year the thing is moving market. At least if you gather some, if you go and they harvest some and they mill it. You get money through the oil you said, go back to the new and your wife. So that time she now told me, it's okay, they want to go village. If they could come back, she'll pay me. 
She may even start, maybe I will show her for business. But he believed that after going, he told me where she was going. And I was up. Men, I'm ready. She got home. Listen, there are power that fight people. They went home, they started harvesting. They, 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 they did the first one, it was successful. Second one, the man they called to climb the pound front, climbed. At the process of cutting, he cut the rope. The man landed on the floor, and the man died there. This one, fire to frying pan. The man look up and say, hey, I for stay for Benio. The wife had already collapsed. But they were all there waiting for him to clap the cut. The man cut rope. Landed on the floor. They rushed him. For them to leave bush, they know if leave bush. Go home, they know if you go. This one go, no good. Come back. Whatever power that say things will never get better. Whatever power that say that so so glad. Somebody had a fire seven times. I was here at God's message. Say, sister, don't enter trouble. And they were husband. They spend more than the time they're supposed to spend. Fear not let them call any other person, climb for them. The first one they sold, they didn't cover their problem there. The family that owns the man, look at the, look at the man and the wife. Because they are family, this is not the same village. They didn't know whether to call police or to accept the issue. Finally, you know how they resolve the matter. They told the man, said, This you get four children. This man get the man the one wake up through get five children. They say we don't count the children, join your own. You go to train all of them. If you agree, matter settle. Now if they agree to train, you never train your own. Shout it every demon of emptiness, fighting me from my foundation. Many of us at times we will say we'll get problem, but at times you see another one, you will say, I did not get problem before. Because there are power that is still out to find your fight your happiness. Shout the blood of Jesus seven times very loud and clear. I sit on this altar. If there is any altar involved in what you are going through, that said your case can never get better. No matter your effort, no matter your prayer. As you turn that image and let that power go down. I sit on this altar. I speak to you as your prophet. Wherever they lock you up, wherever they lock your star, somebody hella fire seven times. My father's house holding back my glory. Da! Oh, you pray. Pray. Somebody let God hear your voice. Eh? Evil altars of my father's house holding back my result, holding back my glory. Jesus' name we pray. Ray Mike, I want to hear amen that challenge your foundation. Stretch your hand towards me, agree with me, wherever you are, whether you are watching or not. Whatever foundation fighting you, and say no matter your effort, wherever you are, that you can never, you can never improve. Can I hear your amen like thunder? Let me go down. There are more that they have children, but their children is not making headway. As you turn that amen and release your children, stretch your hand toward this altar. 
I pass the grief. If a person cover you, somebody holler fire seven times. If my juju nine hole, you cannot hear shell fire seven times. If it's an altar outside your father's house holding your glory, can I hear your fire seven times? Switch your tongue toward this altar. I agree with you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will not cry again. You shall not return empty. I rebuke spirit of emptiness. I rebuke spirit of nothing. In the name of Jesus, put him in seven times. Sit down. Whatever power that said you can't do better than your father. Whatever altar that said you cannot do better than your mother. In this service, that battle is ending today. Someone say, make me the kind of person you have made me. Menu kamburon ye de ma. Menu kamburon ye de ma. Menu kandiki bebo. Menu kamburon ye de ma. Ezi chibo. Whatever power that say your own will be different. Spirit of empty, spirit of nothing, no resolve, no choice. Somebody had a fire. Peter, all through the night, after toiling, Jesus said, Do you have meat? He said, Nothing. How can you walk from night to daybreak? Yet he couldn't get, and he didn't say, Smarting. Some people want is a spirit of small, but it was not nothing. It's nothing. Others are doing their own is working. But in the same ground you enter, nothing. Others are fishing on the same river. But the moment you put your net, all the fishes will disappear. Because there is a spirit of emptiness or nothing following you that said you can't get anything. If that is the truth, if it's a cause, I speak from my heart in the name of Jesus. If you can rise up, echo, amen, three times, you are stepping out of me. Listen, I'm here today to release sons and daughters who will do better than their parents. I didn't hear the amen. If anybody has ever succeeded in that family, your own is going to change the pattern. Sit down. Menu kandi ki bemo. Menu kamburo nye de ma. Ezi chimo. Spirit of nothing. Do your hand like this. Shout in every spirit of nothing. Attacking the labor of my hand. Get out! Get out! Dust it out! Dust it out! As we are dusting it, bad luck. Borrow and cannot pay. Rising and falling. Gathering it to scatter. Level without result. Every day nothing. Every day nothing. 
empty pocket. Pocket we hold. In Jesus' name we pray. Now look at your Bible. Matthew 17, 25. We'll stop at 27. And he said, Yes. And when he was coming to the house, Jesus prevented him saying, Say, say, what thinkest thou, Simon? Of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? Of their own children or strangers? And Peter said, Of strangers. And Jesus said unto him, Then are the children free. But look at verse 27. What is it? Notwithstanding, least we should offend them. Go down to the sea and cast an hook and take out the fish that cometh forth, cometh first up. Then thou hast opened his mouth, and thou shalt find a piece of money that take and give unto them for me and thee. Now let's see. This is interesting. The same Peter, in Luke 5, he cast, he caught nothing. In John 21, he dipped all through the night. The first one, all through the night. The second one, all through the night. But when he moved with Jesus, they were on their mission, from a mission assignment, and they saw those who take tribute to tax collectors. And Jesus asked, who are those to pay tax? Is it children or strangers? He says, to Jesus said to him, we are not strangers. For that reason, we are free. But use the word in verse 27, notwithstanding. You know why did he say notwithstanding? Because the issue of money at times, who will not think that will talk to you will talk. Have you noticed that? It's money that makes more boy to insult adult. You didn't hear me. It's money that makes more picking insult adult. Call names. And you know go feel the plan. But especially the O, you buy credit, you no pay. When they call your name, they are not gonna let you talk, say they insult me, because you are killed. Jesus said, No, we stand there before they will give us insult. He told Peter, say, We are going to pay. And Peter said, How where do we see money? He said, Don't worry, I will show you. He said, There's a river near where we are. You get a hook around. And Pastor Peter will say, but you said I should stop fishing. You have anointed me for ministry. Jesus said, relax. Not for business. There is a treasure that was made for you inside the sea. Years back, you didn't gather. Let's collect it. It was a service. All the, all the while you toil and toil, there was a blessing there kept for you, but the altar has collected it. Now the altar has been conquered. Let's go and take our treasure. And I perceived Peter was looking. Master, how do we get it? He said, use your hook. Cast. You just, you know, when you use nets, you catch plenty of fishes. Am I correct? He said, we are not, you are not going back to business. No, you have retired from business. But this one is a treasure that was made for you. But you could not get it because of the altar. Now, you know, so many of you, there are blessings kept for you in that market, but the altar denied you. If you rise up thunder, amen, collect it this week. Did you hear me? I said, yeah, there's a blessing in that office, there's a blessing in that workshop, in that market, that altar fighting you denied you. If you rise up thunder, amen, take and collect it today. And Jesus said to Peter, when you dip your hook, you get the first catch. Just one. Don't repeat two times. And when you get the fish, open the mouth. You will see your money. 
I pray for somebody. I prophesy as the spirit let me any of your money that they are holding in the spirit realm in any altar. If your amen is allowed, you recover it now. Your misplaced wealth, misplaced income. See that. And he said, open the mouth. What you will get will be enough for me and for you. Now look at the interesting part of it. Peter went there. Now you put me right. When you enter the river, it's open place. Have different directions. And remember, Peter was sent for a particular fish. For just a fish. Not fishes. Just a fish. Am I correct? Peter was sent to catch a fish. And this fish, the, the, the water is moving before you came. Peter didn't miss it. By the leading of the spirit, he knew where to position. Just like as you have this altar now. But you know, river is wider than this whole building. But Peter went and positioned. And through hook, not net. There are many fishes, but he's looking for a fish. This week, there are many customers, but they are the ones you are looking for. I, I, man, I, man, I, man, I, man. I pray you catch it right now. Peter didn't go the other back of it. He didn't follow where others are following him. The spirit told him, say, move, 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 settle here. Cast. This week, this week, you will not stand in a wrong point. I don't know who I'm talking to. You, you will know where to position. It will not be dry and lucky. It will be divine arrangement. I say it will not be a thing of dry and lock. You will be divinely positioned. And he threw his neck. His hook. When he raised it. That fish which was prophesied by Christ, he caught it. Stretch your hand. I prophesy your own fish now. <laughs> Carrying that, I don't know how much he's carrying, but you know how much you are looking for. Remember Jesus said, the money you will get in that fish will pay for you and pay for me. Who knows whether I'm five years clear that? Uh, yeah, it could be. Could be five years task clearance. He said, This or this say pay for one person. He said, Both your own. I'm a, he didn't tell him, he said, I'm not perceived. Change the man. Now, quote me right. Normally, you know, Bible says, You see a fish. He said, Open the mouth, you bring a coin. Normally, naturally, fishes does not eat coin, they eat meat. Oh, talk to me now. But this fish is carrying coin. So it's a bank. Somebody say, Bank. You didn't shout it. You didn't shout it. As you stretch your hand and thunder, amen. The man or woman you are waiting for that is carrying the treasure will meet you this week. We meet you this week. You will not miss your target. We will not miss your helper. You will not be in the midst of trial. Receive a surprise in the name of Jesus. And what he caught was enough. Somebody shout enough. <laughs> Sit down. I worship. I worship. I worship. For you, when I go jump face to face, I 
Jesus name we pray. Sit down. Open up your two hands. At this junction, if you are in this service, you entered here, you are believing God for marriage, this is your time. No, say that amen if you agree what I'm saying. I'm showing you the blessings that is already in this house. You are crying for children, this is your time. You are sick in your body, this is your season of healing. And you are believing God for money. There are angels everywhere carrying bags of money. And if you stop that amen, they will give you. Peter, deep cast the net, open it. Lo and behold, it was exactly a mount. Remite, remite. This is not a season of dialogue. You are a divine project, wonderfully positioned for signs and wonder. Angel called money. Listen. Do you believe me as your prophet? I'm already prophesying. If you have laid foundation, even in my yesterday, from now to 31st of December, back enter. Amen. I say from now to December, go and finish it in the name of Jesus. Look at your neighbor, say money is not a problem. Fear lets you talk and like that. Shout, give your neighbor money is not my problem. You talk, I'm coming here. Someone saying, money be the problem. Tell your neighbor money is not a problem to me. Every of your projects that require money. Oh, those who understand me, I think they are collecting it already. I don't care to know how you come, but you must know how to connect it. This is the second Sunday of this season of miracle. Listen, listen. There was a revelation. This hall was no longer just church. It was like a plantation of fruits that people are gathering and plucking. And the more they pluck, it looks as if they were not church at all. And if I hear your amen, your own will be confirmed. Listen, I have sons and daughters. I don't know where they are. Any moment from now, people will be talking of hardship. They'll be spending money. I think, where are they? Where are they? If they say amen, that power is changing hand already. Yeah! 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 Somebody shall enter God's money. Come. Traveling abroad, money will not be a problem. Peter did, and yet, Yamana, money came out. From today, in the name of Jesus, if your amen is the loudest, I see money around you. Money everywhere. Money everywhere. Money everywhere. Somebody had I receive it. Sit down. Yeah, I'm concluding it already. Make sure you say something. Make sure you collect it. There was a time in this church, only one person gave moto, not car. Moto. And a, a time came, at, the Lord said, Professor. And I began to prophesy. Today, buying of car in this house is not a miracle. It's not a testimony you want to come out to share. Am I correct? Almost every Sunday, up to last Sunday, we saw somebody dedicated a car. Are you hearing what I say? So what I'm saying, whether you agree or not, tell your neighbor, a miracle by force. Tell your neighbor, this one, you must receive it by force. Now rise up, put them and put a stamp. Sit down, 
Come well, sit. Marriage. This year you go share your card. Every one of you here who are daughters of Remai that they mock you because of marriage. If I be your pastor, from now to January, your card will be out. 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 You are crying for children. God will give you children that my pastor does report. I've seen it in this house, not one, not two. And if you agree with me as your pastor, and say amen, between now and my birthday, conceive another prophet. That is not the amen I'm looking at. You that is sick in your body, the poison, the, the, you are carrying sickness, negative doctor's report. In the name of Jesus, you are healed. You are healed. In the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, 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 amen. You under the sound of my voice, wherever you are watching me, wherever you are, that thing that is your earnest desire. I speak to you as God said to you. If the blessing hold you, let the blood of Jesus show up. Let the sacrifice of Jesus stand for you. Even if somebody says they are dead, the mortuary collects them. Your blessing. Your money, your children, your healing, your marriage, your favor, your connection, your document. As you say, go in a trigger, he's already with you. Thank your feet. Switch your hands, sing it. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. amen. house if there's anything you must do this year now you're giving don't play with it your tithe is not negotiable is there any time you need to survive now have time and the key is giving operate with covenant it happened in the days of abraham it happened in the days of isaac it happened in the days of jacob and the key check your bible it was their covenant they kept they keep giving they keep sowing and there was harvest and at times some scarcity and god want to raise some people I know some of you say, Pastor, not true. Put me right. This hardship, some people think say they go die, put in a life. You go survive. Yeah. Not just survive. You see yourself buying cement now, where they dear. Yeah. Now, who chop belly food, they buy cement? Two of us. Have this seen a man who is buying bags of cement? say, I never see food chop. You ask and say, Why do you buy cement? You don't go buy bag of rice. Open up your two hands. I am here to announce to you if you believe me as your prophet, you will not see what you buy your head. <laughs> Yesterday, somebody showed me something very painful. We accident happened. 30 people died at this spot. We shut the door against that. Anyone connected to you as a red might, the altar looking for blood will not catch them. In the name of Jesus. The grace upon my head. 
I stay to where you are. The oil upon my head. If you turn that amen, let it extend where you are. Don't play with your covenant. God still reads people through covenant. Your tithe, pay with passion. Your seed, give to people you are better than. Support the work of God. You are not helping God. You are helping your destiny. And the day shall come, you look yourself, you'll be glad. This is your hand. We never beg. Put a man if you agree with me as your prophet. Before I pray for you, open that your two hands. Something happened on Friday. Was yes on Friday. I was invited to preach a place. I, if, if not the grace of God, I will not know what to say. I know you say, Pastor, which can place is that? If not grace of God, you will never know what to say. Imagine where they gather the pastors in this state. No fathers who taught me gospel, they are there. And I was given the bridge. I didn't say members, fathers of this land. I saw even my own papa there. He was sitting at the front. <laughs> I, I tell God, now you, now you call me, come. I must clear. In this state, in this state, not the outside state. The whole state pastor. When I preach me, I say, God, I like that for God. I say, God, now you do this one. If if it's not you, how it will take happen? For people who taught you the word of God, I also ask you to preach back to us. You need to see the fathers there. You need to see the men of God. You need to see the crowd. The whole state. Straight up. When I left, the state chairman called me. He said, you have made the land proud. I touch my head. And if you are happy that I'm your pastor, if you turn that amen that it will happen. Switch your hand. You know I pray for you. That same grace that has helped me from nowhere. And God told me everyone who believed me will be moving together. Listen, there are some things that happen in my life. I see that grace is real. So if you are a child of coming, I don't deviate. Even when people castigate what you believe, stand, be stubborn. For me, I am evidence, not just Bible, my life is a Bible. Stretch your hand. Now look at the prayer. I'm praying. This service is different, though. Every one of you in this house. Your generation will hear about you. Sweat your hand. Kings will look for you. Somebody have a sweat your hand. Let me pray. Now listen. One of the days I got a call that I'm that I'm needed in one particular state. I said, for what? They said, you need to pray for the state. And even the governor and everybody that matters will be there. I said, I know they come home. The man saying, I like, we have been following you and you must come. I called that guy. I was talking to my peer. I said, What is really happening? There are places I've entered this time. I'll begin to ask myself, How, What brought me here? Such as I have, I give to you as your prophet. If you turn that in and that it will happen. Amen. 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 Now sit down like someone in charge. 